the weaknesses of each investor. Most don't know. I don't speak opinions, only facts come out of my mouth. I'm hustling in my veins. What's good, you two? Let's get this money. You already know we getting money. We eating honey. In this video, I wanted to teach my little sister how to invest in these stocks. So, I asked her earlier, did she know what a stock was? And she said no. So I'm about to tell her a stock is like you investing in a company. So like, remember what I asked you a couple months ago about Roblox? You yeah, yeah. Because you said you'd be playing that? Well, I really don't play no more, but like I, I mean, I play it once in a while. Yeah. But what I asked you about it, you remember? You said how people like, like what are like the prices of like expensive items and how people make money about them? Yeah, and I was asking like, or like how Roblox makes their money. Yeah, and I asked you, what you think they go do over the years? Like, do you think that they go last? Remember? I mean, people are saying that it's boring. Like, it's like getting boring now. But the okay. prices of stuff, like, it's going like limited items. They're like getting higher. Yeah. So every time somebody buys an item, it gets higher. Oh, so they they up in their prices. <laughs> yeah. With inflation, y'all I already know about inflation. Yeah. Roblox going up too. So, the reason why I asked her about Roblox is because let me see if I could type in how you spell Roblox R O B L O X, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the reason I asked her about Roblox is because they just IPO. So they've been a company for a while, but they just went public where you could bound last year you see how they just started in 2021 in march mm -hmm. like they a new company to the stock market so that's why i asked you about it and you mm -hmm. see what they did so far they didn't went up but they didn't cooled off but they only been on the stock market since march 2021 and so basically with these stocks like look at this is like 99 million or something Oh yeah, they taxing on Roblox. They taxing. But they doing decent, like, since they IPO, like, let me see if I can go to the beginning. So in a 52 week range, the lowest they didn't be in is $60. And right now they're at $84.02. Damn. And the highest they didn't be in is $103. So basically, the easiest way I could break down a stock to you is is you investing in a company like roblox apple you got an iphone you can invest in apple and just let them work for you so like let's go to the i'm gonna just go to the month chart you see apple they've been in business for a minute on the stock market so let's just say 2010 if you had apple stock in 2010 when it was six dollars and then now you see where it's at right now. $145. So that's you multiplying your money by a thousand percent, like thousands of percent. So let me let me see. It's like only three items on here that people buy like all the time. There's only three items. Or like this. But like these are like it's like two million Robux. It's like two hundred K dollars or something. Yeah, they taxing on their Roblox. But this ain't about Roblox. I'm about to tell you about these stocks. Okay. So, look, Apple right now. So, say you bought, say you bought Apple at $100. Okay. And it goes. So, like, say you buy one share. A share of a company is just one share. So, if Apple $100 and you buy $100 worth, that's a share. And if it go to $200, that's you doubling your money. So, that $100 is turning to 200 and it'll be a hundred percent. You see the percent right here? Mm -hmm. It went up 0.79% on the day. But if it if it double, that's a hundred percent. That means you doubled your money a hundred percent. So if it's up two hundred percent, you tripling your money like that. So if you were to put like a hundred dollars in there right here at one twenty-five and then where it's at one forty-five, then you making the percentage on that. But the more you put in it, the more you can make and the more you can lose. The less you put in it, the less you can lose. So I could put a hundred dollars in a stock and it double. I'm making two hundred dollars. Is it even like a hundred something that costs a hundred dollars in Apple? Like 
Uh, I don't know. They got a lot of products that cost more. That's why I'm saying most of the stocks is cheaper than the product. So what we get wrong is black people or a lot of people in general, they don't know about the stock market. So they buying all these companies instead of, I mean, they buying all these products, but they could really be buying a stock and then letting the company work for them. And then getting that money back, the money that they made off the company, then they could buy back, but they don't know about that. But yeah, the Apple stock is cheaper than the iPhone, cheaper than the iPad, cheaper than all that. But yeah, so if you put $5 in there, and it double, you make ten dollars. But it's just you put in there little by little. But when you when you want to invest in a company, you want to go to the farthest time frame. You see these time frames, so this is four hour. So if you go to the one month, that's how you can see from all the way to the beginning, from when it first started, nineteen nineties. You could go all the way back. And if the and if the chart not going up like this over time, you don't want to invest in that company. Like it gotta be going up. Roblox over time. Going on. You see that? Roblox just started, so it's a little different. But companies that's older, you could go all the way back. It's the first step you do when you look at a stock. This right here is the NASDAQ. It's like the top uh, technology companies. So it's uh, it's the S&P 500 too. It's some kind of the S&P 500. Right here, the SPY. And this the top 500 companies. It's not just tech companies, but you see over time, these are the safest ones. So when you get into the stock market, this is the first thing I want you to put your money into, the S&P 500, because it's the safest. It's not just one company. You know how Roblox is just its own company? Yeah. The SPY right here, this is the top 500 companies. So we got like Apple in it, and got Microsoft. You ain't got to do as much work because it's so many companies that Put together. Yeah, so if one do bad, it ain't gonna bring the price down that much. Like it, it, it don't come down as much as regular stocks. Like, like a stock like Apple, they could have bad news in their company, and they stock could drop like ten percent so like in a all day. Like, how do I explain? Like all like phones, iPads, computers, and like stuff like that. They're all in one company. Or like one. You talking about Apple? Like, no, like no. Microsoft, like Apple. Oh, you talking Samsung. about in the S&P 500? Uh, it's just the top 500. Like, we could look at it right now. Let's go to Yahoo Finance. We could look at it right now. We go to Yahoo Finance. And then type in SPY. Matter of fact, we go do VOO. It's like the, it's the S&P 500, but it's an ETF. So what the ETF is, is like, so say you go in the store and you want to buy the whole store. That's that's you buying the S&P 500. I mean, that's you buying the index fund. But if you buy an ETF, you're just buying the L. You know what I mean? Wait, so like if, you're, if somebody wants to buy a whole store, they're going to buy like everything in the store too? Yeah, like an index. That's, that's what an index fund is. An ETF is like you buying the L in the store. You still buying a lot of the same type of product so like basically the ETF is like you buying all the chips in the store you know what I mean mm -hmm. but the, the index fund you buying the chips you buying the cookies you buying all that and you, it's safe but VOO go to the chart I mean I want to show you the holdings VOO this is the S&P 500 and you see the companies the top 10 companies that's in VOO this is a, it's a ETF. The first. Yep. Apple is five percent of it. Microsoft five percent. Amazon, Facebook. These are all good companies. Google, Alphabet, A and C. That's Google. And then Berkshire Hathaway is owned by Warren Buffett. He's like one of the top investors. J.P. Morgan is like a banking company. Tesla. I know you see these Teslas on the street. Johnson and Johnson. So it's it's like the top companies in this VOO. You could see all you gotta do if you wanna look at an index fund or ETF and you wanna see what companies is in it, you just go to Yahoo Finance and then go type it in like I did, VOO. We could look at another one and then just go to the holdings. This is how I went to it and I scroll down. Top holdings. 
So this is just showing who makes the most money? Um, it's not really about who make the most money. It's about the percentage that that's in the index form. The okay. percentage that they have on the index fund. So Apple is five percent of VOO index fund ETF. So let's type in QQQ. This is another one you should look at. QQQ is the top technology companies. And then you just go to the holdings and you see they got Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, NVIDIA. See, you will usually see these top, the same top companies in most of these index funds. But you see in this e, in this one, because it's a technology one, they got more Apple. You see the other one had only 5%. This one got almost 11% of Apple. It's got Microsoft, it's got Amazon, but it got more percentage. PayPal in there, NVIDIA, they make chips. Yeah, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. Yeah. Mostly when you think about companies, when you think about picking a company, that you want to put your money in, you shouldn't have too many. So I say you shouldn't have no more than six stocks. You should have at least two index funds or four stocks. So the way that you know if a company is like relevant is like, which if you think about it, you want to pick the top company. So when you think about shoes, what you think about? Jordan, Nike. Right. So that's 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 a good one to look into. And Nike just went up a lot recently. Look at let's look at Nike. I just made a video on Nike the other day. Look at the stock. You see over these over the past ten years, 2020, 2010, Nike was at $13. You would have held that stock for 10 years, you would have multiplied your money by like 20. But what if like a company, say like it's like an online company that sells um like that sells like people's stuff like like say like if it's like like goat that company sells like nike shoes jordans and all those shoes mm -hmm. do they still like get paid the same or they like don't get paid get everything the same? the same they don't get paid the same but they is profiting but you don't really want to get you don't really want to invest in companies that's like middleman or second tier like a lot of people don't know about goat but everybody know about Nike. You want a company that's a leader that everybody know about. Like when you think about, just when you think about, uh, what can I think about? When you think about phones, you gonna think about Apple, right? You wanna do something like that. You know, it's like you just wanna think about leaders in they in their company. Like, I mean, not in their company in their sector. So like when you think about cards, like credit cards, what you think about? Credit cards or cards? Yeah, like credit cards. Visa? Yeah. Uh, I don't really know what else. Like Visa and MasterCard. Yeah. And them good ones that I've been looking at too, too, because more and more people is like, it's more restaurants and stuff. They saying, we ain't even accepting cash no more. We moving more and more towards digital society. And them the type of companies I'm looking into, like Square, the company that own Cash App. Yeah, me and my mom, we went to, we were going to go to Bath and Body Works, and they said, well, I think it's just this one, but they said they don't accept cash anymore, and they were only taking cards. Yeah. And me and my mom just went to go get her card. But that's what it is. Like, we're moving more towards a cashless society. And like she said, B, when I asked her what, come, what she think about cards, she said Visa. And that's one of the top leaders. Like, I was just looking at them. Because it's going to be more and more card payments and less cash payments. It's already a step. Dang, my, ba my battery about to down my camera. I just charged that camera. You going to edit this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, take Hopefully it don't off. die. But, yeah. But, so, what's the index for? What do you mean? You don't know what the index for is? There's a lot of stuff you just said. I'm not gonna kind of explain it. All right, like, explain it. Like what, what you mean? Fun. <clears throat> All right, matter of fact, like, what's the S and P 500? Like when companies, I don't know, like when companies get a percentage and like like the top ten how much they make. 
I know what you mean. I know what you're trying to say. Like, but like the S&P 500 is the top 500 companies. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Like the yeah. top 10 or 5 companies. Because when you went no, on they, Yahoo. No, it's 500 companies. But I, the reason why you're saying 10 is because I just showed you the top 10. Oh. Them was only 10 of the 500 companies that's in there. Oh, there's 500 companies? Yeah, in the S&P 500. That's why it's called the S&P 500. No, I just showed you the top 10. Because let's just think about it. These are the top 10 companies of the NASDAQ, QQQ. But when you add up these percentages, 11%, 9%, okay, that's 20. Then that's like another 30, like 40 some percent just on this list. So that's not 100%. That's not 100%. So again, all right, my camera died. We back by the shore. How to do look at the support and the resistance. So you see these this green line right here is going sideways in this red line. Mm -hmm. So the green line is the support. It's like the line where the stock usually find the bottom man and start to bounce back up. So you see how I hit it right here, the bottom right here, at like 120. Then it bounced again right here around 120. You see it? Mm -hmm. And then it bounced up. Like it'll go past it a little bit. But then it'll bounce up every time recently. It looks like it's getting longer. Huh? It's getting longer. What you mean? What's getting longer? Like the green line. Like it's like. Oh, I can growing. move it. I can move it. Oh. Hey, I just drew this. Yeah, I could do that. And then it's the resistance. It, it broke the resistance. The resistance just like an indicator to show you where the stock usually get to the top and then start to bounce back down. So you see right here, it got up here at around 145 and then it bounced down. Now this is another resistance point, it's a key point. And stocks like to fall down after it hit the resistance. Like you see up here, you see these lines right here, the purple line. Mm -hmm. So this indicator right here is called the RSI. And it show you if a stock is oversold or if it's overbought. So it's, if it's all the way up here, that means it's overbought. It's overbought. That means that it's, like getting, it's, it's, it's expensive. It's expensive. You don't want to buy a stock when it's up like this. You feel me? You don't want to buy it when it's up like this around the 52 week high. You want to buy it when it's down here, when it's around the support, when it's getting low, when it's getting cheap. You want to buy like a discount, just like you buying food or you buying some clothes you want to buy the sales on it's on discount right mm -hmm. same thing with these stocks so basically it's like the price this means like it's overrated or like the price is it's over high. yeah it's high it's expensive okay. yeah i want to show you something else too about these trend lines so you see this line these two lines i drew so it's called a trend line so you see how the stock been staying in between this line. The trend line means it's trending up. The stock can either be trending up or it could be trending down. And it's trending up right now. You see, I just drew it from like the bottom of the support and I just drew it diagonally up. Same thing. So that means it's still trending up. It ain't touched these lines yet. Could just use that as an indicator too. But right here, just looking at this chart, when I just told you the support and the resistance, and I showed you right here, if it tells you the stock oversold or overbought, would you be more likely to buy this stock or sell this stock at the price it's at? Mm, I'd sell it because the price is too much. You would sell it? So, wait. So this or this? They this it's the same chart. This is just showing you if it's so if it's down here it's, it's show, showing you that it's oversold, and then if it's up here right here where it said that means it's overbought if it's over these lines, over the dotted line. I'd. So you saying it's in the bas? You think it's in the bas zone or a seal zone? It's in the buy zone because a lot of people are buying it. No. 
Hazard in the Southern It's Hall. in the buy zone, but not because a lot of people buying it. It's in the buy zone because it's oversold and it's getting low right here and it's around the support, around $20. You said it's in the buy zone because a lot of people buying it. But this right here show you that it's oversold. That means a lot of people selling it. And it's getting cheap. It's getting cheap. I thought you like, say like an Apple. Like Apple is like really overrated. Alright, let's go to Apple. You said Apple overrated? To me, but like I like their phones. Uh -huh. I feel like it's overrated because everybody has an iPhone and people like are saying that Sam like Androids are trash because of it. Mm. I mean, Apple's are good. Apple is a good phone, like Apple brand. They they have good phones and stuff. But Samsung and like Microsoft and HP, like there's I think their stuff is good too. Yeah. But it's just looking at Apple right now, since you're talking about Apple, do you think it's it's in the buy zone or sell zone? I think what? You think it's in a buy zone or a sale zone? I think what is it? Apple. Buy zone. You see where it's at. Sell? Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't want to sell it because it's Apple. It's a company that you want to hold for years. But if you was one of them people that was the pick, pick between one or the other, it's more likely to be for you to sell it up here, not the bad up here, because it's close to the all-time high, and it's over it's overbought on the RSI, so it's high. It's expensive. You don't want a bad when it's up. You want it so. Just remember this: if you don't remember nothing else I told you, you buy when it's low, and you sell when it's high, mm. and I'm only like sell if you held the stock for at least five years. So you hold you hold them for five years minimum, long term. Sorry, I'm asking. Go ahead. Alright, so stick to this plan. It say if you believe in a company, hold the stock minimum five years. Okay. Don't sell it unless you held it for at least five years, no matter what it's doing. If if it go down cheaper, if it go down lower just think of a stock as if the price go down, it's cheaper. That means it's more. It's on a bigger sale, which means that you, it's giving you opportunity to buy more. So, if you really need to take money out, only sell some of VOO for the amount that you need. Don't sell no other stock that you got. It say, invest in VOO and QQQ monthly. Every month, no excuses, no matter what the price is at. Say, watch my YouTube videos, especially the playlist, stock market for beginners. Don't day trade. Don't try to get rich quick, trying to flip money quick. Cause it takes time. Right. Invest for the long term, five years minimum. Block block out the noise. So with all them people talking about on social media about the newest stock and all that, don't worry about all that. Stick stick to your plan. That's crazy how you made 16k from that. Yeah. Be patient. You may be down when you first start, but co good companies always bounce back. Leave your emotions out of the stock market. Stay calm. This is your key to financial freedom. And I actually wrote this from you. I, I wrote this for you. Mm -hmm. Now that I just remember it. It say, never stop learning. All you need is two index funds like VOO and QQQ and two tech companies. Pick two out of these. So out of these ones right here, pick two out of these. Apple, Google, Square, which is a company that own Cash App. NVIDIA, they make them chips for like games and computers and all that. Mm -hmm. Facebook or Amazon. So this all you need, VOO, QQQ, and two of these companies. Oh, pick one? Pick two. Uh, I pick Apple and ISA. Oh, wait. Is that ISA or is it like the, to divide it? Uh-oh, this is divided. Uh, SQ. Oh, Square? Apple. 
square and apple. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, good ones. All right. Stock price doesn't matter. The price you get in does. That's why I was telling, just trying to break that down to you and asking you what's them prices to get in at or what's them prices that you will sell at. But I think you got it down now. You know that when it's high like this and when it's up like this, that you don't want to buy when it's up here. You want to buy when it's down here like this on the, on the, on the chart like this. You always look at it when you when you point out support and resistance. You always want to look at the day chart at least a bigger time frame. And I got something else. Give me that red book over there. It's like a red. You don't lose money unless you sell. So it don't matter how much money you down on the stock. As long as you don't sell, you don't lose money. You're just holding it for the long term. And when you're looking at a company, you should ask yourself. Can I see this stock going down in productivity five years from now? If yes, don't buy. If no, buy. That's why I was asking you to think about Roblox. If I can if I can't sell them and be comfortable with them, would I benefit holding them for five years? So if you couldn't hold it, I mean if you couldn't sell the stock, like you couldn't, you locked out your account for five years. Would you be comfortable holding that stock? That's how you should look at it. Like say you go to jail for five years and you got a stock and then you get out. Would you be comfortable with that being in your account with your money being in that stock? You should be that comfortable that when you get out, you should be like, yeah, I'm about to come home to some bands because I know that stock put up numbers. That's how you should feel about it. You feel me? Wait, so like, is there like a game category? Because like, what if like Roblox... Fortnite, all those games were in a category. We didn't make a lot of money. Uh, oh, you talking about like in the index one? Yeah, they would. But I don't know. I don't even know a Fortnite on the stock market. I don't know about that. But I know it's a social media index one that got like Twitter, Facebook, uh, Snapchat, all them in there. It's called Social Something. All right. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna end the video with this. The weaknesses of each investor. Most don't know where to get in. And I just showed you how to get in when you want to get in the stock market. But when you first starting off with VOO and, and QQQ, it don't matter where you get in at because the, the 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 quicker you start, the better. And with them, it really don't matter. When they talk about when to get in, it's really about individual stocks. Index funds, just put your money in there and hold it. So don't and another number two weakness of each investor they don't know when to get out number three most won't use predetermined exits so you you got to know when you want to sell a stock so say you just got a stock that you just want to you know that's hot right now and you know something that a lot of people don't know about yet and ain't in the media yet like you know a new product about to come out and you might just want to put something in there early and then you up you didn't double your money, but you ain't set it up where it wasn't one of those stocks where you was looking to hold for a long time. You was just trying to make a quick flip, even though I'm telling you not to do that. <laughs> but the people that do that, they don't got no, they ain't got no plan of when they want to get out. You know, they mm -hmm. get greedy and they just hold, hold it till it come all the way back down. People but, be getting rich. From yeah, number four, most want to be. Most won't be patient to let the profits mature. Number five, they choose gambling over safety. Number six, they select bad stocks from bad advice. Number seven, not enough research. Number eight, not enough reading. Compare stocks against big dogs, against the big companies, against they big. All right, and I forgot to tell her, the only way a stock go up is if people buy it, and then it go down if people selling it. So now she know that. And then what you were saying about Apple? I said, um, I would sell stuff like, I would sell Apple products because they're worth a lot and you can get like a lot of money for them instead of um, buy, well, instead of like buying it, I think. Instead of buying the stock? Yeah. Yeah, but I was telling her like, 
you she could do that, but she ain't gonna make as much as she would off the stock market if she invest her money in there and just keep investing every month and let it sit over there over years. And plus, doing that, she ain't even gotta do no work. Like, she gonna have to do the research, but I'm talking about physical work where she making money in her sleep doing that. And that's how we get our, I was telling her, she gotta make her money work for her. You gotta make your money work harder for you, then you work harder for your money. That's how you gotta do it. But yeah, that's the end of the video. My camera didn't die two times, so <laughs> we're in the video right there. But if y'all like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, comment what y'all want next, I'm gone.